after this video, you're gonna know all the different frames from how to decrease your bills, to gain a better Fidmar score, possibly for free, and much more. Hello everyone, THGPL here, I'm a streamer over at twitch.tv forward slash THGPL underscore, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that you might not know which will help you out. Also, before we start, I wanna point out that there are timestamps in the description if you want to skip that specific part of the video, and also subtitles in case you can't understand me well. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first tip is to turn off the lights before you advance the next day. It really decreases the amount of money you'll have to pay for a utility bill later. Just look at this difference. With having the lights on all the time, you might be wasting over $150 per month which you could be putting elsewhere. Now for the next tip, I recommend getting a cabinet. And I know that second desk looks tempting, but it's very useful to buy the cabinet as soon as you get to level 6 cause you're gonna end up at a point where your hallway is full and you still have jobs you want to accept but can't. And the best part is, the cabinet will never be full, so you're never gonna have problems where your hallway is full. Well, besides if you accept too many jobs at the same time, where at that point you would want to clean out the hallway so the main one can deliver the rest of the PCs next day. Also, don't forget to check if the jobs have a deadline to them, cause then you're gonna realize that you had a couple jobs that you forgot had a deadline, which leads to no profit and a one star review, which can decrease your star rating and might lead you to not being able to get some of the harder jobs. Also, if you have the eSports DLC, then I have a tip or two later, so be sure to stick around for that. Now you might know some of these things, but if you're not sure what GPU or CPU is better on the other, then you can get the part ranking, which will show you the score of each GPU or CPU and drag them so you can choose the best one for that remark job if you need to. Also, if you're still having trouble with Freedmark score jobs, then stick around, because I'm going to show you a way to increase your Freedmark score for free. Also, since my first tips and tricks video, they added the cloud notes, which you can write down what parts are needs or the extras so you don't forget them, end up getting a 4 star review instead of a 5 star one. Now, if this video helped you out so far, consider subscribing, or follow me on Twitch, where I currently stream 2-3 days a week on Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. Anyways, let's go to the next tip. Alright, so if you bought yourself the eSports DLC, you might have seen that some jobs you can't actually collect, as they will be automatically picked up on a certain date. Now you might have some of those completed and mixed in with the ones you still have to do, so you'll be checking which one is which, but there is an easier way. Just keep your completed jobs on one side and the jobs you have to do on the other side. Or if you have a delivery area like this, then just put the completed ones at the bottom and the ones you have to do up top. So, now that you know how to save a bit of money and get more active jobs, you're probably going to get these 3D Mark jobs and it seems impossible to reach that score. But don't worry, cause there's one easy way to get a little bit more score that might let you reach the goal. And that's by doing a basic GPU overclock, where you would want to max out your voltage and set your core and memory clock both to 100 and increase both by 50 until it crashes. When it does, decrease the clocks, and if you want to take a bit further, you could increase or decrease it by 10 to get more score. Also, some GPUs will be able to clock higher than the others, but that depends on GPU to GPU and also depends on the silicon lottery. Also, for stress testing, you can use OCCT, which is faster and more convenient to use, but if you don't have it, then 3 Mark will also do the job. Now, I know what you might be saying, I'm not level 13 and I don't have the GPU tuner unlocked yet. But don't worry, cause you can also get scored by enabling XMP if you haven't already. Simply turn off the PC and when it's booting up, hold F2 or delete which will take you to the BIOS screen. In here, you won't want to go over to RAM OC and enable XMP if it's not enabled yet. Which will set the RAM's clock speed to the one advertised when you bought it. So with all these tips, I hope you now have an easier time completing 3 Mark jobs, saving more money and organizing your workspace. Also, if you have any tips I haven't covered, then don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. And with that, I will see you in the next one.